my name is Perry Cook. Um, I'm with AFS, as, as Ross mentioned. Um, here to talk to you today about our systems. We have uh, two, two uh, permanent formwork systems or stay in place formwork systems, Logic Wall and Ready Wall. But today we're going to talk more about um, the Ready Wall system, which is a permanent PVC extruded system. So AFS is part of the um, CSR network or um, group of companies. We've been operating since, uh, since 1996. Um, some reputable names, uh, all backed by the, the parent company of CSR. Introducing ReadyWall, um, as I said, it's a permanent extruded PVC formwork system. That's the advantage. So buildings have been put together since the pyramid days with blocks. Innovation, technology has changed everything in every other industry, but we're still putting buildings together with block work. This system was um, created or invented back in the mid 90s um, to basically speed up and streamline, give your building a lot of efficiencies, retaining walls and, and cost savings in a lot of areas. It's an ideal solution for, for basement walls, party walls, um, columns, retention tanks, detention tanks, um, foundation walls, service stormwater pits, etc. Where it comes into its own is um, speed of construction, ease of installation, it's lightweight, easy to handle. One, 13, uh, three, one 3 3.2 metre panel weighs about 13, 14 kilos, so that's the equivalent of about 12 blocks. So, um, so for oh and it's, it's a lot more beneficial for you on site than block work. Um, significant waste reduction, we can cut to length, so we can do custom lengths for your project, we can do a takeoff and, and basically give you zero wastage. Um, it's a semi-gloss high quality finish, so if you want to leave it as a, as a finished article for a retaining wall or for a basement wall, you can leave it as, as such or you can paint it, you can render it, you can tile it, you can do whatever you want on, on the surface of it. Uh, it's um, AS3600, the Concrete Code of Australia, performance compliant. Um, also we have Codemark certification and it is water resistant. Ready walls available in uh, one 10 millimetre wall thickness, um, 156, 200, 256, 275 and also our new addition to the family, 300 mil. So, that's the equivalent. I guess if you could buy a block, it would be equivalent to a 400 mil block, which you can't, but that's, that's ideal for large scale retaining walls, um, lift shafts, and so forth. Also, we have our easy fit corner panel um, for the smaller sizes. The, um, the 110 up to the 200 are a snap connection. The, uh, the larger sizes are a slide connection. So, um, But the, the smaller ones, we have a, um, a, a removable corner, which enables you to um, allow your engineer to come and inspect your corner steel prior to, um, to pouring concrete. As mentioned, like we can supply cut to height or, or a range of stock lengths um, and yeah, readily available stock lengths which we can supply within a couple of days. That's our profile range, as mentioned 110, 156, 200, 256, 275 and 300. Our corner connection, corner panel. You can see there it just slides out so you can get your hook bars in, tie your steel at the corners. Your engineer can come and have a look and sign off on it prior to pouring. Very easy to use. Here's our code mark compliance certificate. Um, it's, we've spent a lot of money, a lot of time and, and uh, a lot of resources and in investing into this to make sure that we're, we're compliant with the BCA and relevant codes. Um, the building industry is constantly changing with certification issues. Um, certifiers have been, the last couple of years, very uncertain with a lot of walling systems. Um, so we're trying to stay one step ahead of the game and make sure that um, we're answering all the questions and that they don't have any issues when they come to site. Other reports or certification we've got uh, is, is resistant to water penetration, um, all our BCA compliance documents, areas of use, um, as mentioned, uh, lift shafts, lintels, stairwells. <laughs> For core filling, um, when you're core filling a block wall or even fibre cement sheeting or some fibre cement sheeting systems, um, they suck a certain amount of moisture out as you're pumping it into the wall. So you've got to keep the block work wet to compensate for that moisture loss. With ReadyWall, um, you're basically pumping 
your concrete in at the top, if it, for example it's 150 or 170 slump at the top, that's what you're getting at the bottom, which is important for compaction and elimination of air voids. So you're getting a quality of concrete into that wall, you're eliminating, you're eliminating your air voids, you're getting accurate compaction, therefore you're getting a stronger structural wall. Also because of the double sided PVC skin, you're getting a slower rate of hydration with your concrete, so ultimately you're getting a stronger wall. You're gaining 4 or 5 MPA in strength just through that curing mechanism. Areas, as I mentioned before, basement walls, retention or detention tanks, retaining walls. So that's the corner panel. Basically it's just a matter of standing that first and working your way out from the corners. So if you imagine those panels are, for example, 3 metres high, it doesn't make any difference to how quickly um, he can put them together, but how long would it take you to lay a block wall? The other option, uh, ability we have also is with the um, internal core, you can run double horizontal or put it upside down and run a single through the middle. And what that means is if you're building a, a long length of wall, because you've got cracking controlled uh, according to AS3600 at every 86 millimetres, you can run longer spans of wall without control joints. But the beauty of the system is you've got control over the job yourself, you've got zero wastage, um, it's clean, it's dry and you can work to your own schedule and you're not reliant on giving a block layer a whole project and, and you're, you're tied with, tied up with, um, your hands are tied with what else you can do. So as, you, as you're assembling the wall you get several metres along the wall, you can feed your horizontal bars through, um, generally if you have, have them cut at a couple or three metres long, they just sit in the bottom of the, um, the channel, the grooves overlap them. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, well, several key engineers around the South East Queensland who will specify us and are okay um, if we want to substitute a, um, a block wall with ready wall. So and if, it, if it's a retaining wall or a basement wall, part of it's out of the ground, you need to finish it with either a paint or a render. Um, we've got several render companies, Dulux with their Acrotex, Aztec, uh, who have all done testing onto ready wall um, with no issues at all. Because it's 100% pure virgin PVC, nothing recycled in it, um, it doesn't get that plasticizer or stabiliser bleed inherent with a lot of PVC pipes and other systems. So yeah, as, as mentioned, we have, uh, we've got a warehouse um, at Narangbar on the north side. We um, carry a range of stock links of all our profiles there, 3.6 uh, down to 2.8. We can also manufacture custom heights or cut to length heights, anything from 7.5 tall down to 1.5 high, 1.2 high. So if you've got a retaining wall that's 1.4, you don't want any wastage, it's 70 metres long, we can, uh, we can cut to length of about, with about 8 to, 10 to, 8 to 10 days lead time. After sales service, Gavin's our um, project coordinator, he's, he's on site so if you're using it for your first time, you're unsure, We'll be there for a, what we call a project handover where he'll come on site, do training, help you with the installation, give you pointers and tips on, on detailing um, and also turn up and make, make sure everything is okay pre-pour uh, and also towards the end of the project. We have our own design team in Sydney so we've got our own engineers and estimators so if you want to forward us your plans um, we can do a, do a mark up and take off for you. So ease of design and specification. And that's it. Thanks for your attention.